So you can see here, this is uh, TCS, Tata Consultant Service. So once you go to income statement, have you seen? This is the income statement. Right now I'm using this Morningstar, right? Morningstar this is a very good website. Basically, personally, I am using this one. And here, here you can see this is revenue. Have you seen? This is a revenue. This is revenue, right? So let's check the revenue here. You can see revenue continuously growing. Uh, 300 to 289, uh, 373, right? Uh, 488, 627, uh, continuously. And you can see graphically that uh, that is continuously. Last I'm taking the last 10 years data to uh, 2010, 11, 12. Have you seen their revenue? They're generating continuously high, right? Remember, this is uh, number one. Okay, so let's check it. Uh, number two, net income or net profit continuously grow, right? So that is why you have to check net income. Have you seen this is a net income? This is the net income because I'm using Morningstar, right? You can see net income is continuously growing every year. You can see TCS, right? That means we already passed number two, step number two. Have you seen graphically TCS? Continuously the price is going high and creating high, right? So this is uh, step number two. And let's check it, step number three. Cash operation continuously grow. Cash operation continuously grow. Right. So that is why cash so we have to say cash flow. Data consultancy service. Have you seen this one? You can see net cash operation activity. Have you seen continuously the cash of operation is increasing? So that means this company is the phenomenon. They are doing a good business, so you can invest. So this is step number third, All right? Next step number four, it uh, like uh, sometimes it happen, a less competitor or nil or company might be a monopoly, right? So this is uh, step number four. And step number five, long, term growth rate more than 20 percent long term growth rate suppose if you want to invest uh, in uh, like uh, here in tcs their long term growth rate should be more than 20 percent right so that is why you can go to i'm using uh, another website it's called rotor right so here you will find the growth rate of this company so uh, there's uh, and the growth rate more than 20% should be, right? Always remember, not less than. And the third, net profit margin. So net profit margin should be increased, right? Company net profit margin. You can see net profit margin will be here. Okay, financial net. Profit margin chart net. Here you'll find net profit margin. Net profit margin, net profit margin. Yeah, you can see this is the net profit margin, uh, net profit margin more than uh, 10. So here you can see industry, uh, industry. Net profit margin is showing and the sector is running 30. 13 percent right and uh, tcs it's running in this uh, 11 percent so it's uh, not bad right last five years you can see they're running and the company are not showing here net profit margin and the third return of equity uh, it should be more than 15 percent so where you will find a return Equity, return of equity. So that is why I'm using uh, this is equity master. I'm using equity master return of equity. Uh, return of equity. 
uh, TCS, right? You can type here like TCS in Equity Master. Find Equity Master return of equity. Okay. Return of equity. You can see here you will find a return of equity in below. Okay, return of equity. Okay. Uh, this is TCS. You can see here. Tata Consultant Service and the financial report. And you can check it here. Uh, return of equity. Have you seen this? Is the return of equity. So you can see uh, this is the balance sheet of uh, balance sheet data. So use a second return of equity, which is showing here. Awesome, right? Here you can see thirty percent. So we are looking for more than fifteen percent. So here you can see continuously the price is increasing. Thirty-five percent, thirty-four percent, thirty, thirty, thirty-five percent. So here you can see this is the return of equity, right? So it's a awesome. And the third, you can see less debt or uh, they are they are totally nil, right? So like uh, that is why we have to find out that company who have less debt, right? So that is why again we can go to long term debt, right? So you will find long term debt. So you just go to income statement. You can see here. Okay, sorry. Uh, balance it. Uh, we will find here long term debt. Uh, long term debt. You can see here long term debt. Have you seen? Uh, this is the long term debt. You can see here. And when we will see the debt is totally nil. Right? This year. So, that means this company don't have any debt, right? And uh, next you can see here, step number eight, we complete. Now, step number eight already we complete. Now we can see that means in this company, in TCS, sorry, in TCS we can, uh, we can invest our money because every step they already passed TCS. So that is why you can invest in TCS company for the long term. So first step, we already complete first step. That means is it a great business? That means TCS is doing a great business, right? So we can invest for the long term, whatever their price. So next we have to find the, what is the current price is running? Is it a good time or good price or there is a discount price so that is why we have to find out so i think you people knows about intrinsic value calculator right intrinsic value calculator so uh, this is a uh, calc uh, this is a calculate are there so if you wanna don't wanna uh, calculate about that one so you can just visit to uh scanner so i think you know scanner so you just click there tcs tcs and you'll find tata consultancy service and click there and here you will find intrinsic value all right if if you if you open newly so if intrinsic value is not displaying here so just type here add quick ratio here's the option to type you just type intrinsic value so right now you can see the current price is running 2163 and intrinsic value is 3289 that means the tcs price uh, tcs price uh, stock are selling in a discount of almost 1000 right so let me check it here tcs so okay okay let me show you and here, let me 
this CS, right? Here. So now we can see here, that means uh, this is, okay. Okay, so according to intrinsic value calculator, it's just showing three, two, eight, nine. How much is it just showing? Parameter three two eight nine three two eight nine right which is showing three two eight nine right three two eight nine so that means uh, actual price might uh, it may be actual price of TCS it's three two eight nine right have you seen three to eight, nine, according to intrinsic value calculator. But right now price is running in this area, uh, 2,168. Uh, that means the price is selling by TCS in a discount. So this is the best price for enter, right? So before you enter in this market, we have to go in technical because who knows, price might fell from this area after breaking this level. So that is why we are looking for a buy entry. When we'll get any buy entry in this year, so definitely we'll start buying from this area. So that is why you can see here, um, next. Here you can see next. Is it a great point to entry, right? So that is why we have to wait any technical sig uh, signal. Right now, uh, here you can see they are running like that. And here, daily, their uh, TCS is running in a range like that. So once we can see here, now TCS is running like that, right? Running like that. So we are looking for if price comes in this area, so we'll start buying from this area because we have seen the TCS is running everything. This is a great company according to our uh, nine step formula. And number two, uh, this is uh, according to intrinsic value, they are selling in a discount, right? And uh, third, is it time to, uh, good time to enter in this market? Yes because price is running like that. So we'll start here in this area, right? And we'll leave this company for long term, right? So that is uh, past the ninth step, right? So now we can see in TCS, we can go for buy. So I hope you understand what I'm talking. So if you have any query, you can leave a message. Okay, past how many years uh, growth need to seek? At least you just take it 10 years. So here you can see I took 10 years data. So you can check at least five years data, but I'm taking here 10 years data. Here you can see I'm taking 10 years data. So you can put here a five year also, right? So let me show you five year, at least five year or 10 year, whatever you want. Minimum there uh, might be uh, if there's five year. So here you can see I'm taking 10 years data, right? So some company like that, uh, if you wanna see, you just tell me any company why, uh, if you have any position for the long term, then definitely I'll discuss with you. So some company price is failing. If there, uh, suppose you can see, uh, let me check it here, another company like that, let me remove. Some company price you can see like uh, any company, let me show you like Union Bank. If you see like Union Bank price, you'll, you'll find like that. What, what you have seen. Union Bank, you can see if you, and you, you have position 2014 here, somewhere here, uh, somewhere here, right? So you can see what is that. 
price is continuously failing. So if we analyze according to nine step, I definitely I can tell you that among that nine step, the company are not able to pass. Who people don't know all nine step, they people, I think their people uh, invest here money and they are getting lost, remember. So, and you can see another company also, right? So let me check it here. Another company you can see here. Okay. You can check it also another company like uh, Suzlon. So you can see who people invest in Suzlon. So what going to be happen? Right, last five to 10 years, what's going to be happen with them? Suzlon, if you see last Suzlon price uh, from 2017, last one year price is failing, right? Suzlon. And star like that South uh, sale power git okay you can check it power git r power sorry reliance power so you can see this is the reliance power what's it doing there right so you can check it Yeah. MRPL, right? MRPL. If you see, if you want to see here, MRPL, let's check it what happened. Why their price is failing? Go to financial. First time we will uh, check their revenue, right? Next, go to all financial data. I'm taking 10 years data. So first, let's check, uh, let, uh, let's check it. First step number one, revenue should be continuously high for long-term investment. Remember, let's check it. What you have seen? Have you seen this? Revenue is not con uh, continuously high. So that means uh, Mangalam Refining and Petrochemical Limited, they, they lost uh, the first step, right? They failed first step. When we have seen this company, so leave it that company. First step already failed. Second step was net income, remember. Have you seen that company net income what doing? That means when they're doing like that, that management is not 
doing good platform. So leave that company, don't invest in this company. So no need to see other, sec other step. In two step, they fail, right? So we never gonna buy their share for long term, right? So do you have any co uh, a company so where we can say like that? Okay, no voice, no voice, no voice. Audio, audio. Audio, wait, 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 wait. Let me check it, audio. Okay. Are you hear me? Are you hear me now? Okay, okay. So do you have any company where you wanna invest? So I can check it. If you have any company, if you have any company, so where you wanna invest? So I can check it. Right, so let's check it another company like that, uh, whatever you want. So let's check it MRF. MRF, now price is just failing, right? Last few uh, weeks. So if you wanna see MRF, so you just go to here and type here MRF. You want BSC or NSC, you just click here. After that, you can check here, financial report. So after that, all financial data. You can see, you can check it revenue continuously high net income continuously grow but little more right now just the prices down right and then next you can see case operation continue it's going or not case of operation so that is why you just go to cash flow When you see cash flow, so everything going good, right? So that means this company, that number one. So that means, so after that, we have to check the intrinsic value. And here you can see uh, what called MRF. MRF limited, right? So you can see MRF intrinsic value is 65,000, but right now current price is 56,000. Uh, so that means uh, they're still selling in a discount, right? So we have seen the, yeah, this is the best price. So we have to check, uh, we have to find the entry point. Is it a good entry point or not? So that is why you have to find some moving average here. So if you wanna enter MSCD moving average, okay, I wanna 50 moving average exponential crossed by 150, 150 exponential moving average. So, okay, let me draw, no, daily it's not showing still downtrend. So this is not a good time to enter in this market so once they break this cross this line so definitely will buy so that is why we have to wait in mrf right so next so i hope you enjoy this video if you have any query so what are the conditions to book 
profit to exit or decrease share from TCS or any company after investment. Okay, so for investment, so here you can see, so let me tell you one thing. So have you seen this is the, uh, what call MRF, have you seen? This is the MRF, this was the entry point, have you seen? And this is when they cross this area, so we have to close our position here. This is our exit point for investment. That means in 2016, here you can see 2016, you entered when price crossed each other uh, according to your trading uh, method. So what was the, the price? 36,000, right? And our exit point will be here, 2000, uh, 2018, around August, November, August, September. Here you can see, and the 33,000, oh, sorry, 32,000. Have you seen? Sorry, uh, 60, uh, 60. 9,000, almost uh, 69,000 or 70,000, your exit point. And if you see like the TCS, so uh, let me ask TCS. Uh, this is a TCS. If you if you want to see here, this was your entry point. So now you can see this is entry point. Have you seen? Uh, according to a crossover. So have you seen this is a crossover? 50 moving average cross, so it's uh, showing in the daily, so it will go up. So when they once they cross each other, moving average, so it will our exit point like that. Here you can see. Here, here you can see uh, this was our entry point for the buy, and price break this level, right? So uh, this is our exit point, right? when they break this level. So you have some pattern, so you can use that pattern according to your investment as a technical, right? So do you have any query, Ann? Uh, kindly show us the slide again, this step. Okay, step number one, right? So let me explain again. Step number one, the revenue continuously grow. And where you will find the revenue? So most of the people are using here revenue like that. So he will, here you will find the revenue, but you can't find continuously going or not. When you will use this website and you will see continuously the revenue you'll find here continuously going up or not, All right? Here you can see revenue when we click here, so automatically it will detect that to uh, as a graphically, right? Next, you can see net income. You'll find net income here. Where? Here is here you will find net income. So once you click here, you'll find net income, right? And the third, you'll find cash operation. Uh, is it continuously going or not? For that one, you can go through cash flow, right? And the first step you'll find here, have you seen continuously going on, right? And the third competitor, so you just find out, uh, is it their competitor in with that company or not? Or is company is running in a monopoly or not? You just check it. So if there is no monopoly, it uh, doesn't matter. So you just find out that company if they're monopoly, so it will be good, right? So step four, uh, sorry, step four, just a minute. Uh, step five, long-term growth should be more than 20%. Remember, if long-term growth rate is below 20%, person no need to invest because we need higher growth rate because we want to add more and more money right and the net profit margin should be increased continuously and the re return of equity roe more than 15 percent right and you just check it either company have a big debt or less debt right so that is why you just find out the debt. 
and the next you can find here and you just check it intrinsic value either they are giving in discount or not right last you find out always technical if technically they are telling you to buy then you buy that company share right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any query you can ask me so i hope you don't have any query i hope you understand so can i quit now Okay. Okay, Tata Power. So let me check it, Tata Power. So when you wanna see, you just always check it here, Tata Power. So Tata Power. Tata Power, right? We need NSC. After that financial. Okay, Tata Power financial is not showing Tata Power. Okay, data 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 is not showing data power financial. Okay, mm, return of equity it's too less, so I don't uh, want to enter return of equity is very less compared to 2019. It's 11 percent return of investment. Okay, data power financial is uh, overview overview let's check it overview the financial it's not showing here some data is missing i think so recently they will post here okay okay it's coming all data data power let me check it data power so it, First step, you just check it Tata Power. But continuously, they are not going their revenue. Remember Tata Power. So I don't interest to invest. They fail first step. So that is why I don't enter, don't uh, invest in Tata Power. And number two, net income. Right? Net income. The net income is not continuously going up right so that is why i leave this company because i don't want to see next step right i don't want to invest in the top power and how will national how will national fertilizer so let me check national fertilizer National fertilizer. National fertilizer. National fertilizer. Let me check it, National Fertilizer, what they are performing or not. So revenue, fail. Net income, there was a, uh, they are getting loss after that uh, now 16, 17, 18, same profit. No, I don't wanna invest. If you wanna see cash flow, case of, uh, case of operation, no, I don't want to in, invest in national fertilizer because they are not able to pass fast step. If you 
invest that type of company what going to be happen like that i'll show you this type of have you seen they are going to be happen like that they are going to be happen like that you invest there price is falling down continuously so that is people are most of the people are telling when price is falling just buy it just buy it buy it buy it so if from two uh, from 2017 if you are investing in tata our call this one mr tata mtr right so what going to happen so that means last two last two to three days or uh, three years your investment are in loss right so that is why don't invest when company are losing their uh, they are not able to pass that step right so let's check it another one okay so national fertilizer and nfl so let's check it nfl and fl national fertilizer yeah already we said nfl are failing uh, himadri specialty chemical let me check it himadri 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 specialist chemical right let's check it finance himadri Himadari. Yeah, Himadari first step, the past revenue is going high, right? Hima, uh, Himadari, special chemical, right? The revenue is past, first step, the past, because we have seen the revenue is little more like a 16 and 17, the revenue was little more down, but they're continuously they are doing so we can invest there right so net income net income here was less but they're earning enough right now okay let's check it cash flow of version let's check it cash flow of version yeah it's doing good but here like uh Yes, doing uh, not bad also. So let's check it. Another thing, right? Uh, let's take, uh, find more long term growth rate. So we have to find out long term growth rate. So that is why we must go uh, this uh, rotor. So I'm using this rotor. Um, what call this one? Hima Dari Hima Dari Special Hima Dari Speciality uh, Chemical Here you can write rotor Rotor When you go to rotor here Go to financial because uh, we have to find long term growth rate, right? We need net profit margin. Okay. Long term growth rate, always find out the long term growth rate because this uh, Hima there is. Uh, Performing good, but somewhere, yeah. Have you seen long term growth rate? And uh, here is showing mean is showing 15% high, and uh, that means a low 15%. All are same, 
and my projects on long term goals rate more than 20%. That means here in Hima, uh, there is showing uh, according to analysts, uh, the long term goals rate will be 15, but which company have more than less than 20%? Uh, I don't want to interest and I don't want to invest. So after all, Hima Diary fail. Uh, according to my analysis, I don't want to invest and I will wait one or two years later. Let's see if they're performing well, then definitely I will go for invest Hima Diary. Okay. So do you have any query or more? So if you have, so you just let me know. Okay, so that is why you just always uh, find if the company are able to pass that nine step, definitely invest. So if you are not able to pass that nine step, so my opinion, I don't want to invest there. Remember, because among that company, and uh, I think hardly five to 10 company will pass that nine step. So my strategy are very strong because I don't want to invest my money in this market. And because this stock market not for losing your money, this market, it's uh, if you want to invest, so definitely you try to earn enough money. So that is why you just invest. If you are not getting any opportunity, like they are not passing that nine step, leave it that company and look for another company, right? No, uh, Mr. Harris, no, because I'm using that one uh, outside, not uh, that website is not Indian because most of the Indian company, like uh, what call we are using, nsc.com, like uh, another what? Uh, I'm forgetting some website are in india right so i'm not using because their data is not available that is why i'm using that three website one website uh morning star another rotor and a third a scanner scanner just i'm using for find out this um, intrinsic value because uh, that calculator is not bad i have also intrinsic value calculator uh, but uh, no need to put again and again so if any company are past that nine steps, so definitely you can go for buy, right? So intrinsic value, then we are looking for what is the discount is running right now. So that is why we are using intrinsic value. And later we are using technical analysis. So is it time to enter entry point or not, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, so I wanna quit now. So time, I think uh, already one hour is over. So hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.